This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, everything that I get that can help someone else, I plan to share, okay? So this time I'm hopping on here because um, I'm the book for book club is No More Faking Fine, Ending the Pretending by Esther Fleece. No More Faking Fine, and Esther Fleece is the author. Um, God is so intentional. Let me start off by saying that he's so intentional. Like I said, I had a book I was supposed to be reading for choir and a book I'm supposed to be reading for the book club. God having known that he called me into the choir and he called me to this book club and having known that those leaders pray and search to him for guidance as far as, you know, how to lead the ministry, um, he placed these books this one and then the praise and worship book he placed these books on their hearts knowing that at this season in my life that um he would be speaking to me about these things that praise and worship book is talking about battling strongholds with spiritual warfare and and i you know for some i today i was praying and i was thinking i bet when i open them books those books are going to be talking something about you know what god has been saying about this season and so that was the case. I started reading both of the books today and they're both talking about the things that God has been ministering to me about in this season. And this book, it says um, either the first or second chapter. Well, here, let me just read. Um, in the forward, she writes, God meets us where we are at and not where we pretend to be. So let's set aside our performing, put away our expectations and stop our striving. God will meet us right where we are. Remember I said God is expecting us to offer up praise. Yeah, but he's expecting us to offer up some ugly things. He's expecting us to offer up some dark things. He's expecting us to offer up some broken things so that he can transform them and be glorified and then be made light and whole and and um, so forth. Okay. And then um, on page 35, she says, I have learned through the years that God does not want just our happy. He also really wants our sad. Everything is not fine and God wants to hear about it. He is drawn to us when we're mourning and blesses us in a special way. God is not up there minimizing our pain and comparing it to others who have it worse than we do. God wants all pain to be surrendered to him. And he has the capacity to respond to it all with infinite compassion. What's more... Lament is a pathway. Honest expression to God makes way for God to come and work his real healing. Lament is a channel for powerful transformation. It is, it is exactly the kind of song we need for hope and healing. Okay. Um, and I actually kind of write about that in, the, um, in my own way. In the book that I'm writing, From Pain to Peace and Power, she and I dealt with the exact same thing, masking our emotions. We had learned to suppress um, pain and disappointment and stuff and to just push through it. But those things, they're still there waiting to be dealt with, coming out in discreet ways and so forth. Um, I guess you could say kind of like a, a volcano that will erupt somehow, some way. But... Um, yeah, No More Faking Fine, Ending the Pretending by Esther Fleece is another um, good book that you can pick up. Uh, and it was something. Oh, yeah. When I was deciding to come on here and share this book, uh, it was a vision that had come in my mind. And I'm kind of forgetting it now. Um, I'm forgetting it, but I'm sure I will remember it later. Um but anyway, this is another book recommendation. No more faking. Fine. Ending the pretending. All right. B. Oh, okay. I remember it. All right. So like she said, God meets you where you are, not where you pretend to be. And as I was coming on here deciding to share this, um, it came to my spirit. Like, imagine that there are different lines, right? You know you have a reward in God. You're expecting a reward in God, but you have to know where to go to get it, right? So imagine there's a line for the blind people to get their reward, right? Imagine there's a reward for the deaf people to get their reward, right? 
Imagine there's a reward for the lame people to get their reward. There's all these different lines that you have to get into to get your reward. Um, but you don't identify with any of those lines. So you turn around because you're like, well, I guess there is no reward for me because I'm not deaf. Um, I'm not blind. I'm not lame. I'm not demon possessed. I'm not this. I'm so there is nothing for me, right? So it's especially important in this time that we ask God to be that mirror, that mirror of a reflection where we can see ourselves as he sees us. Remember the Pharisees and Sadducees, they saying, well, what are you saying? We're blind. And he was like, no, if you, if you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty, but you remain guilty because you claim that you can see. So some of us, we're just not transformed because we don't realize that we're sick. We don't realize that we're broken. We don't realize that we're hurt. We don't realize we can't see ourselves how God sees us. Not to say that that's who we are in his fullness and totality. No, that's just where we are now. That's why God is trying to meet us where we are now so that he can do the transformation now and get us to our destiny. Those things... That's just how we how we get in the vehicle to our destiny. That's just how we get on our way. All right? That's how we get propelled to destiny. We have to see ourselves as we are now, okay? So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray somebody will be so bold. Somebody will be so thirsty. Somebody will be so daring. Somebody will be so intentional. Somebody will be so humble. Somebody will be so... so desperate to say, Father God, thou who has established and informed the heavens and the earth, thou who has all knowledge, thou whom I've heard so much about, show me me as you see me. And I pray that you will answer them, Lord, whether any way that you, the best way you know how, having full knowledge of the creations that you've created, you know what way will speak to them the best. You know which way will be profound to them. You know which way will be undeniable to them, Lord. So whether you appear to them in a dream, oh God, whether you uh, speak to them through a prophet, oh God, a vision, oh God, through your word, Father God, I thank you in advance for whosoever shall be daring enough, shall be faithful enough, shall be desperate enough to ask you to reveal themselves to them, it shall be revealed. In Jesus' mighty and matchless and wonderful and glorious name. Amen. All right, so be blessed.